What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Florida Prison Talk. I got my boy Big Tim back. Y'all been asking about Big Tim. I got my boy Big Tim. Shout out to Justin that be in the comments, man, looking for Big Tim, man. Shout out to everybody that's looking for Big Tim, man. Florida Prison Talk. Hit that like and subscribe. Go ahead and talk to him, Tim. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all's support, man. Thank y'all, man. Y'all been asking about me. I'm bike, man. Here I go. That's what's up. Here and it's going to be a little quick little video. It's going to be part three of uh, Big Tim. It's going to be on close management and confinement. We're going to get right into it. Okay. You got, the, um, you got to the Florida Department of Corrections in 1987, right? How long was you there before you caught your first DR? Well, I was on the compound. I did like a year and a half before I caught my first DR. Okay, and what was your DR for? No, I take that bike. I caught my first DR when I went to Lake Butler. Mm. When I went to Lake Butler, when they told me have I drove a Cadillac. I, I, I... <laughs> when they asked me did I, uh, do I uh, know how to drive a Cadillac, that was my first DR. Mm. Yep, that was my first DR since I was in the Florida Correction is prison, man. That was my first DR, man. Dang, and, um, okay, and is there a difference? Okay, we're gonna get back into that. Is there a difference between confinement and CM? No, man, CM, CM, I say CM better because you're behind the door, you're in the room by yourself, you get to think, you get to clean your house up how you want to clean it, you ain't got to worry about you got a dirty person in your room. Right. And you could cook, you know what I'm saying? You just can think. So 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 sometimes going to CM isn't all that bad. It's like sometimes it gives sometimes, you time to think, right? Yeah, it, it gets it get uh it sometimes it ain't that bad, man, when you're going to see him. But um, hey man, I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't wanna get off, man. I was on CM3. I made hmm. CM3 and I ain't wanna get off. That was so sweet. I would come about my cell every day, hustling, doing this, doing that, police looking out for me. Feel me? Hell yeah. But, uh, hey, man, I'm just glad to be out of prison, though. I know that for doing 34 that's a, that's years. I know fact. that. I and that leads me to my for that. next question. At, in 34 years, how many DRs would you say you had? I ain't going to lie to you. I caught 250 some DR. I ain't going to lie on, to you. Hold on, hold on. Back that up. How many DRs you caught? 250 some DRs. That's Florida prison talk, man. You're getting it right here from the horse's mouth. My man, Big Tim. Yeah, man. 250 something DRs. Yes, and sir. I like, I ain't care nothing about the white folks compound, but I just. One day, man, I told y'all, woke up, man. I just prayed to God, man, and told God, man, I just want to, I want to, I want to do right now, man. I'm tired of seeing him. I'm ready to get off this thing. I'm ready to go home. And hey, man, I see my, my, my uh, date change. It's 2020. It's time to go now. That's right. <laughs> and I, 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 I can't help but think that in the past interviews, I don't hear you speak on inmate on inmate, which you went through in prison, but I hear you speak on you were going through it with the guards why did you get into it with the guards so much because you got some see some 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 you got some good police guards and you got some assholes on officers now you got some guards that's all right with you you got some guards want to think they're a tough guy so sometimes you got to take them up through there sometimes <laughs> I and got let you. them know that look because because we in prison it ain't no it ain't, you, you can't just disrespect us because we in prison because you got on screen you got on them them police clothes we got on these blues now we still humans too now that's a fact man straight up that is a we fact we gonna disrespect me and i ain't gonna disrespect you so you know what i mean yep and okay doing that time and doing that time in confinement did it have an effect on you mentally like because i hear people say that i hear a lot of people say that oh confinement man it broke me down man i was almost on the verge of killing myself man i couldn't take it back there no i never thought of that because as long as I got my Bible in my room, That's what's up, I can man. wake up every morning and pray. I ain't gonna never think of no suicidal. Got you. Unless, if, unless, if I do, it gonna be because I'm trying to go up there with them females at. Mm, got That's you. A, I'm trying to go in the crazy to see to, to go up there with them females at. Got you. That's the only time I'm gonna play the bull rule. Yeah. Other than that, when me killing myself, oh no, I got something to go out there to live for. Right. Straight up. Damn, that's what's up. Hey, hit that like and subscribe, man. It's going to be a short one today. We got my man Big Tim in the building, man. Y'all already know. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate y'all asking about Big Tim, man. Listen yes, up. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. You better believe it because I'm going to give it to you raw and uncut. That's a fact. And I listen, ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to perpetrate. I'm just giving it to you raw and uncut, man. That's what's up. Hey, listen. I hear people in prison talk about how they caught, that they went to, they went to confinement 
and they caught more DRs while being in confinement. How do you catch more DRs when you're already in confinement for a DR? Because How did that happen? You got some people that love to get mace. You got some people love to stay on CM. You got some people don't want to get off CM. Because, you know, they don't sold somebody out on this compound. They don't sold somebody out on that compound. Because when you get out, when you get released from CM, Nobody don't know where they going at. Oh, okay. Nobody don't know what camp they going at. So you can't get released from CM and go back to the same compound? No, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It ain't it ain't gonna work there. Unless, unless you get on some medication, you'll be a psych, you you be a fundamental health, you might get lucky go back to your camp. You might, but you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get lucky go back to your camp. I wish they could have sent me back to Columbia, but I didn't. I went to Jack CI. Mm. I went to the rest of the prison in the state of Florida. He went to gangland, y'all. Make sure y'all look that up in the um, Google search. Gangland prison. Look up Jackson CI killings on your Google search. Better believe. And you're gonna boy. see what I'm talking about, man. These inmates getting killed. And they got two year sentences. Some of them doing three years and six months and they not even making it home. Go check it out. Jackson CI inmate killings in your Google search bar. I got two more questions from my man, Big yeah, Tim. Yeah. And we're gonna close this one out, man. Listen yeah, to um, other states, man. <laughs> other states, man, they be segregated and stuff. Like you got the blacks over here, the whites over here. They can't mingle and none of that. When you go to confinement or CM, do they segregate you with a black cellmate or you, can you go with a white oh, It don't no, matter. you're going to get in the room with anybody. So any race, it don't matter. You're going to get in the room with. They don't with. care who it be. White, black, Spanish, Haitian, Jamaica, whatever. Mm. Man. You're going to be in the room with anybody. A homosexual, anything. It don't make no difference. Okay. You're going to get in the room with somebody. Got you. You're going to be in the room with a homosexual, a gangbanger, white boy, Chico, Spanish, Haitian, Jamaica, or whoever he is, you're gonna be in the room with him. Mm. Damn, okay, so check this out. The last question, um, as we close. And we're gonna be in Big Tim, we're gonna do a lot of parts. We're gonna do four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure we're doing a lot of parts, man. Y'all gonna, gonna see the man. Y'all gonna, gonna know his whole story yeah, when it's all go, said and done. This last question, feel. man. Okay, being a CM, is, is, is it tiers? Is it different tiers? First floor, oh, second yeah, floor? First floor, you got a first floor, you got a second floor. Okay, bet. So this is my last question to you. When you in CM, and inmates is in cells fighting each other, cellmates is fighting. Can other inmates hear that? Like if, if a cellmate is fighting down, down the hall, can you hear them fighting? Yes, sir, because they're going to go to kicking on the door. Oh, okay. They're so, going to go to kicking on the door and they're going to get the police attention. So, And you heard that a lot being down at CM? Yes, sir. I heard, heard a whole bunch of it. And how is it down there? Is, is it like, is, is it all? Is it always loud? People always yelling out the cell? Is it, any, is it ever oh, peace? Oh, yeah. They, you, know, you might have some peace every now and then, but you're going to have a dude on the door probably rapping. Got you. Singing. They might have a little talent show on the door and stuff to keep they keep their time. You know what I mean? Got you. But you know, they gon' they gon' they gon' pass their time in that cell though. Hey, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This is a little short one. The mosquitoes is killing us. I appreciate y'all tuning in for another episode of Florida Prison Talk. Hey, listen, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe, that notification bell, and make sure you press all. We got my boy Big Tim Part in 3 here in that house. Yeah, yeah. And this is the last thing I'm going to say. This is coming yeah, from my boy yeah, Fred yeah. White. It's, it's, it's good to learn. It. Yes, sir. It's good to learn from your own experience. But in my opinion, it's, all right, it's better to learn from somebody else's experience because you ain't got to go through your own experience. My boy Big Tim got one more thing to say. All right, man. 16 on down, man. Let me tell you something, man. Y'all better listen to me real good. Prison ain't what you think it is, so don't go up there pump faking. I'm for real. Y'all my little brothers, I'm telling it to you before you get there. It's a time to turn around, man. How about these gangbangers out here? How about you just trying to gangbang in the streets? Tell them when they get to prison how serious that gang shit is. Oh, yeah, let me tell you all jitterbugs. So I was talking about y'all this and that. You better go up there and prove it. That's a fact. So it's a, it's a, if you want to get out there gangbanging, it's a time to get up out of there, baby, because... You go up there, pump faking, them niggas gonna see you behind six feet deep. Well, I'm telling yes. you. Hey, that's it for Florida Prison Talk. Hit that like and subscribe. Big Tim Part 3. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm your host, Easy Win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll see yes, y'all back again. Just chill. That's right. Whenever my brother right here, little Zeke, come yeah. get me, y'all gonna hear me talking. Yes, sir. Have a good one, y'all. Yes, Thanks for my subscribers, man. Hit that yeah, like and subscribe yeah. button. Yeah, yeah.